Welcome to Digit Math. Today, we're diving into subtracting two-digit numbers. We've got 10 questions lined up to help you sharpen your subtraction skills. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find it helpful. Let's get started. 46 minus 27 is... Time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 6 minus 7. Since it's not possible to subtract 7 from 6, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 4. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 3 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 16. Now, we have 16 in the units column. Subtract 7 from 16, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 3. Subtract 2 from 3, which equals 1. So the final result is 46 minus 27 equals to 19. 88 minus 69 is time to think. In the units column, we have 8 minus 9. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 8, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 8. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 7 in the tens column and turning the units column into 18. Now, we have 18 in the units column. Subtract 9 from 18, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 7. Subtract 6 from 7, which equals 1. So the final result is 88 minus 69 equals to 19. 84 minus 68 is time to think. In the units column, we have 4 minus 8. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 4, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 8. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 7 in the tens column and turning the units column into 14. Now, we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 14, which equals 6. In the tens column, we now have 7. Subtract 6 from 7, which equals 1. So the final result is, pause, 84 minus 68 equals to 16. 73 minus 37 is, time to think. In the units column, we have 3 minus 7. Since it's not possible to subtract 7 from 3, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 6 in the tens column and turning the units column into 13. Now, we have 13 in the units column. Subtract 7 from 13, which equals 6. In the tens column, we now have 6. Subtract 3 from 6, which equals 3. So the final result is, 73 minus 37 equals to 36. Ninety-three minus forty-eight is time to think. In the units column, we have three minus eight. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 3, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 9. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 8 in the tens column and turning the units column into 13. Now, we have 13 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 13, which equals 5. In the tens column, we now have 8. Subtract 4 from 8, which equals 4. 
So the final result is 93 minus 48 equals to 45. 81 minus 59 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have one minus nine. Since it's not possible to subtract nine from one, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have eight. We take one from the tens, leaving seven in the tens column and turning the units column into 11. Now we have 11 in the units column. Subtract nine from 11, which equals two. In the tens column, we now have seven. Subtract five from seven, which equals two. So the final result is 81 minus 59 equals to 22. 94 minus 46 is time to think. In the units column, we have four minus six. Since it's not possible to subtract six from four, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have nine. We take one from the tens, leaving eight in the tens column and turning the units column into 14. Now, we have 14 in the units column. Subtract six from 14. In the tens column, we now have eight. Subtract four from eight, which equals four. So, so the final resu result is 94 minus 46 equals to 48. 26 minus 19 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have six minus nine. Since it's not possible to subtract nine from six, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have two. We take one from the tens, leaving one in the tens column and turning the units column into 16. Now we have 16 in the units column. Subtract nine from 16, which equals seven. In the tens column, we now have one. Subtract one from one, which equals zero. So the final result is 26 minus 19 equals seven. 84 minus 69 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have four minus nine. Since it's not possible to subtract nine from four, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have eight. We take one from the tens, leaving seven in the tens column and turning the units column into 14. Now we have 14 in the units column. Subtract nine from 14, which equals five. In the tens column, we now have seven. Subtract six from seven, which equals one. So the final result is 84 minus 69 equals to 15. 72 minus 58 is Time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have two minus eight. Since it's not possible to subtract eight from two, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have seven. We take one from the tens, leaving six in the tens column and turning the two in the units column into 12. Now we have 12 in the units column. Subtract eight from 12, which equals four. In the tens column, we now have six. Subtract five from six, which equals one. So the final result is 72 minus 58 equals to 14. Awesome work, everyone. 
You've just completed 10 subtraction questions with two-digit numbers. Keep practicing to get even better. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun and learning. See you in the next lesson.